Hi, my first live video. It's pretty exciting. So I just wanted to come live tonight and tell you how much I appreciate all of the sweet, sweet comments, um, messages, shares, everything that I've had today about the website. I'm really excited about that and I'm really thankful for all of you who have been supportive and are sharing and excited about it too. So first of all, here's my craft room where all the, all the magic happens little room here uh, off of our bedroom so um yeah you can see it's a mess we have Christmas and Halloween and fall and all kinds of different things at the moment that I'm working on so um first of all I, again I wanted to say thank you to everyone for being supportive and sharing getting the word out there that our website is up or my website I guess is up and live a couple questions that I've gotten recently are, sorry, I'm trying to make sure I can see your comments here, about the door hangers. So the door hangers are something that's very, very new to me um, that I've really had fun working on. So when I post a picture of them, what I've been doing is making a sample and then I'll create the ones that are actually the appropriate size um, order by order so I don't have a whole bunch of them just sitting around. Um, what I was going to show you though is that, hi sis, so there's um, some really great options for wreaths and then the door hangers by itself. So for example, the ones that you may have seen that I've posted about were the sports, <laughs> the sports door hangers. So this is just a sample, just to kind of get an idea of what it would be like, because the actual size, they're 20 inch door hangers. And so if you can imagine, this is, this is a blank one, so 20 inches. So that's a, that's a really good size there that's going to be like a wreath itself hanging on your door. So for those that are the sports ones, if you take a look at it, um, you, this is where we can add names. So for instance, you know, um, you know, Jill or Alyssa or something, you can have multiple names on each one and it can say whatever you want. Um, our local high school is Garden Plain High School. So I just went with GPHS, but you could say, you know, go Tigers, go Cardinals, whatever your team is. Um, and then whatever your athlete name is too. So you could have that. Um, but the size of these, I know I've just recently today actually got asked about um, a sports wreath. So this would actually be a really great size. This is only 10 inches um, to put on a wreath. So with the names and things, if you didn't want just a plain door hanger itself, you could put um, that particular little small size onto a wreath there too. So. Um, here's another example of the football ones that I made. Of course, they all will have a little bow actually attached to the door hanger there. So, um, again, comparison in size. So your football is going to be 20 inches too. So this is just a small example of what it's going to be like. So, um, then something else fun that would be great to add on our wreath, which I'll probably do this for my kiddo because I have a first year football player. So that's really exciting. Um, so I will probably put GPHS or Go Owls or something, Owls is our mascot, on here um, and then make my own wreath. And this would kind of be like the sign that would go onto the wreath. So that'll be fun. Um, Let's see. So we have something really exciting coming up that I'll probably be live again over the weekend to announce. So, um, hi, I see some different comments. So hi, Alyssa. Hi, little one. Um, so it's going to be something really fun. I've been asked to do this many, many times and I finally decided to just go for it and do it. So um, under our Cottonwood is going to be having my first ever wreath making class. 
So I'm really excited about that. Again, I'll tell you more over the weekend. Tickets are going to go on sale on Sunday. And there's a very, very small um, number of tickets just because it's my first class. So um, it'll be fun. It'll be a mom's night out, Thai Val. And it's going to be um, something you can learn a new task. You can take something home for yourself um, and just enjoy some time with some friends, especially right now after the kiddos have went back to school and you're maybe ready for a mom's night out. So this will be really fun. Um, another quick something that I want to talk about, if you see the prices on my Etsy shop or on the website itself, Etsy has just done something that's different that everyone is trying to figure out how to incorporate their changes into our businesses. So for instance, if you want to be seen on all search engines, all levels of, um, oh, just be, have your products seen by anyone that you can, um, if you don't offer free shipping on an item that costs more than $35, they're not going to show your product. So obviously Etsy has like 2 million um, followers or 2 million visits, 2 million people traffic monthly. So that's really important to be on Etsy. Um, and we need that traffic. So if you are wanting to purchase something and you can locally pick it up from me, what we'll do is um, re I'll reimburse you the shipping costs. So for like the door hangers, um, they are, they are $45 and that's just the price without shipping. Shipping is additional, but I figure most of those people that are around here that are going to want them, um, we can meet up somewhere. So anyway, that's kind of the reason why things are more expensive on Etsy is because the shipping price has been included into the actual cost of the item. So anyway, that's something new. So everybody is kind of in the same boat as me. They're all having to raise prices and make those changes. So new and different, but hi guys. <laughs> um, so anyway, again, I'm really excited about having the website up. It's been a year long process and I'm not an IT person. So, um, for figuring out how to have a website, designing it and all of those things um, is a challenge and it doesn't happen overnight. So that is um, really exciting and I'm really, really thankful for, like I said, all the support, everybody's sharing everything and um, all the sweet comments and everything. Hopefully it will, uh, it will keep going and grow and grow my business. So a lot has happened just in today. So that's really exciting. So anyway, um, that's about all for now. If you have any questions for me about the sports, uh, door hangers or wreaths or anything like that, just let me know. Send me a message, um, on Facebook, or you can email me at jill at undercottonwood.com and I'll be happy to answer that for you. So, um, again, thanks for everything. Stay tuned. I will be, um, announcing and kind of talking about the class a little bit more on Sunday, um, and then tickets will go on sale. So anyway, thanks again. <laughs> thanks for joining us and we will talk to you soon. Thanks guys.